we do have a number of different live crews who are out at different locations. One of those locations is the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center that is on Ford Island uh, out at the uh, out in Pearl Harbor. And Kristen Concilio, she joins us live right now there. And Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, um, if you could, Kristen, what they are saying, the very latest information you have. Sure, Jai. We have Dr. Chip McCreary, tsunami expert, here at the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. And Dr. McCreary, can you tell us what you know so far? Well, I think uh, probably most people know by now there was a very large earthquake uh, in the northwest Pacific this afternoon at about 1.25 p.m. Hawaii time. Uh, measured a magnitude uh, 8.0 initially, but actually the magnitude has grown with uh, more analysis now. It's uh, roughly an 8.8. Um, some residents might remember we had a very large tsunami here for, that came from Kamchatka in 1952, a magnitude 9. So this is on the order of that, maybe just slightly smaller. And uh, so uh, based on the analysis of the earthquake and then running our tsunami models, we realized there is a threat to Hawaii from this event. And uh, this is not a small threat. This is the kind of threat that can, where the water can flood the land. So our models are showing in some places uh, tsunami amplitudes of roughly 10 feet above normal sea level. Now, for those of you who watch the surf, you know, normally a 10-foot surf wave, it's good for surfers, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a hazard for those of us living here. But a 10-foot tsunami is quite different because what that means is it's like all of sea level will rise uh, by 10 feet above normal sea level and stay high like that for maybe 5, 10 minutes before it goes back down. So that water then rushes onto the shore. And uh, the amount it's going to be in various places around the island will be different, but it will affect all the coasts within the state. And the most important thing is for people to take this tsunami warning seriously. We still have plenty of time to get away from the coast and out of the evacuation zone. So uh, pay attention, uh, follow the instructions from state and county emergency management agencies. And the way uh, the first arrival in Hawaii is going to be around uh, 10 minutes after 7. It should begin hitting the island of Kauai, and it will take something like 30 to 45 minutes before it crosses the whole state down to the big island. And uh, then those, those waves, there will be many cycles of this, the sea level coming up and going down, um, so may maybe multiple floodings of the land. And this may go on for several hours. Once it starts to die down, once it gets down below about three feet uh, on the gauges that we can monitor, then we will, we will low the, lower the alert level to advisory. But it's going to be up to the state and county emergency management agencies to make decisions about when it's safe to go back into evacuation zones. But for now, they want everybody out of the evacuation zones. And then ultimately, it might be sometime very late tonight before we can cancel the whole thing. We don't really know how long um, the the threat will last, but we will be monitoring the situation, advising uh, advising the state agencies, and uh, just follow their instructions. And one more question: How? When was the last time a tsunami of this magnitude, you know, hit Hawaii? The the last one that uh, would have been something um, on this order would have been in 2011 when we had the big Japan earthquake. And of course you saw how devastating that was in Japan, but it was also caused a lot of damage here in, in Hawaii and, and flooded the land in various places. So um, that was the last, uh, the last time we had something of this magnitude. Well, thank you so much, Dr. McCreary. Again, you know, when we got, when we were driving here, it was just a madhouse. People are on the roads, clogging up the roads and, you know, Dr. Mercury says, stay calm, do not panic, heed the warnings, and of course, we'll keep you updated as we get more information to keep you safe. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, Island News.